Hey Peyton, I know they're multiple. Uh, they probably showed you a lot of looks today. Was that part of the reason they made it difficult to go downfield sometimes in terms of what oh, they were showing? For sure. I mean, um, if you if you you know watch the game, you, you can tell that they're they're bailing three deep coverage, and it, it's um, you know we still took our shots, we took our chances, but uh, you know it was a little bit harder uh, just because that's how they play and. Um, I don't know, we just tried to take what they gave us. Nick said it was a different kind of look on that last touchdown or last drive when you when you scored. You know, was that a matter once again of seeing what the defense was? And I mean, there it was kind of that's, we had to hurry up and then try to make something happen. And, um, you know, Nick ended up just running right past the guy and he made a good play in the end zone. So, uh, yeah, it was different. You know, all game they tried to mix it up and they did a good job. What's the next step offensively? What has to what has to change to have a maybe a better, more consistent year next year? Yeah, I think we got to just be balanced all year long. Um, you know, there were games where we ran the ball really well. There was games where we threw the ball uh, really well, and and I I don't think there was enough of that throughout the year where we just complemented each other. Um, and then I would say just red zone scoring. Uh, you know, we moved the ball today. That, that really wasn't the issue. Um, you know, I think we only went three now, maybe maybe one time. So um, we moved the ball. I, I just think. Uh, we got to be better at finishing off drives and then getting points. Mm-hmm. Coach Allen talked about explosive plays too. You know, just needing more of those more consistently. Yeah, I would agree. I, I would say so for sure. Not necessarily about the actual football, but you have Tyler Trent and Matt Stouter out as the honorary captains today. What was that like to see those guys out there? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, you know, because it's this is a lot bigger than football. There's a lot um, more that goes on behind the scenes than what a lot of people see. Um, and those are two guys that. Um, have directly influenced each each program that was playing in the game today, and um, you know I know for sure Matt's been a big influence on us, and, and I'm sure uh, that they feel the same about about Tyler Trent. So it was cool to see them out there today. What was it like having a guy like Stevie Scott um, in there in the backfield with you um, all season, and what he was able to do? Yeah, he he definitely uh, grew up throughout the course of the year. You know, being a, a true freshman, a young kid. Um, you know, he he developed early, and um, you know he he uh, kind of grew up fast and. and Played really well throughout the course of the year, and you see, you saw him get better each and every single week. How tough was it in the locker room to see the seniors and and, and knowing the disappointment that they feel? Yeah, it's hard. Um, it's a lot harder now that I'm a little bit older and I'm, I'm good friends with some of those guys because um, I know how hard they've worked. I know how much they've invested, um, and to come up short is it's hard. And uh, you know, I feel for those guys, but um, you know, hopefully the young guys. You know, kind of took took a look around and saw that, um, you know, the pain and uh, in their faces because, um, you know, our expectations are are higher than that.